Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again. And in this video, we are going to explore how to navigate to a specific custom form of a NetSuite record using SweetScript. Now, before we get started, if you'd like to become a competent and confident SweetScript developer yourself, get started with my free email course on the best resources for learning SweetScript. You will find a link down in the video description. All right, let's get started. It is often the case that you will want to use SweetScript to take the user to a record and show them a specific custom form for that record. Uh, NetSuite actually handles this in a very straightforward way. So let's first see what happens when we change the custom form in the UI, and we'll use that information to inform how we do this same functionality in a sweet script. So here we have our list of cases, and I'm just going to edit one of them. And we have this Ramsey case form that is our preferred default form. And when I change it, what NetSuite actually does <clears throat> is add this CF parameter to the URL. So it added this CF equals negative 100. And now the case form, custom form, is the standard. So if I switch this back, now it says CF is 28. And we're looking at the Ramsey case form. So the only difference when we are looking at a record in the UI is this CF parameter in the URL. So in our scripts, when we generate URLs to records, we can add this CF parameter ourselves. So where does the number come from? If we look at the list of custom entry forms and we find our case forms, we can see that the Ramsey case form has an internal ID of 28 and the standard form has an internal ID of negative 100. So the values we use for the CF parameter are the internal IDs of the custom forms. Now you do need to be careful with these numeric internal IDs as they can vary across accounts. So they may be different, say, from a sandbox to a production account. And so that is something you need to be careful with. Uh, make sure you are using the correct number for the correct or corresponding environment. So all we have to do with SweetScript to redirect the user to a specific custom form is add that CF param to our URL. So let's demonstrate using our previously established high priority cases suitelet. So in this suitelet, we have a list of cases and we generate a URL dynamically to each case and put that in our search results. So what we want to do is modify the generation of this URL to include our CF parameter. Now since the Ramsey form is the preferred, I will uh, generate the URL for the standard form so that we can show it's working. So before we change anything, I want to open one of these and show, if I click edit, we are looking at the Ramsey form by default, since that's our preferred form. So I want to change that to instead take us to the standard form. So on the left, we have the code for our suitelet. And we are generating 
the URL column with this code right here. Now since all we're doing is adding a fixed parameter to the URL, we can use another call to add param to URL to add our CF parameter. Now, since this value is gonna be the same, no matter what the search result is, we always wanna to go to the same custom form. Uh, we just specify one fixed value, which was negative 100. And we do not need to set the dynamic parameter uh, like we did with the internal ID, as this is a fixed value. So if that's been uploaded, I'll refresh the sweetlet. Check, if we look down at the bottom left, we can see that CF equals negative 100 did make it into the URL. So if I open this same case, and edit, you can see that it defaults to the standard form rather than the Ramsey. There's not too much difference between the two, but this one is the Ramsey form we opened initially. This one is the standard. You can see there's some differences in the incident information section if I just switch back and forth. Now there is a second place in our sweetlet where we generate a URL, and that is with this button click. So recall this button, when we click it, it goes and looks at a, the results of a saved search. It grabs the first result and takes us to that case. So I click on the button. It goes and picks case 68, and you can see we're looking at the preferred uh, default Ramsey case form. So we want to change that to take us to uh, a specific custom form. In this case, we'll change it so that it takes us to the standard form rather than the Ramsey form, the preferred form. So on the right is our client script. If we go look at uh, our button code, recall that when we click the button, we call the go to next case function, which is over here on the right. And to generate the URL, go to next case called get case URL. And that uses the URL modules resolve record method. So let's go look at the help for resolve record. And we notice that it has a params option that we can use to add URL parameters uh, to the URL that gets generated for the record. So we can use this params object to add our CF parameter. So in this object, the keys are the names of the parameters and the values are the values for the corresponding parameter. So all we need to do to generate a URL for a record with a specific custom form is add that params option to our resolve record call. We have the params property, which is an object. Remember the name of our param that we wanna add is CF and the value of the standard form in this case is negative 100. And that should be all we need to do to take the user to a custom form. So we copy all of this and upload it to our client script. Now if I refresh the sweetlet, click the button, you can see it took us to the standard case form. And up here you can see it added the CF param to the URL. So that is another demonstration of how we set that CF parameter to take the user to a specific custom form.
And that is it for this lesson. If you liked what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button. Go share what you learned with somebody else. Click subscribe to keep up with all my videos and become a competent, confident SweetScript developer yourself. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I will see you next time.